Hi, this is Rick LaFort with BMC, and today I want to show you how to set up Amazon Web Services so that you can ingest cost and usage billing data into BMC Helix Cloud Cost. When you first get your BMC Helix Cloud Cost licensed account or trial account, your dashboard will initially be empty and won't have data as you're seeing here. So in order to get your data populated, for example, from AWS, the first thing we need to do is add a connector. To add a connector, we navigate to the toolbox in the upper right and select connectors. Now in this case, the connector we want to add is an AWS Cloud Connector. So we'll click Add a Connector in the upper right and the first choice is AWS Cloud Connector here. So we'll click that and then continue. Now you'll see that this connector requires a unique name. We are pointing to the AWS default partition. And in this case, we want AWS cost data. So now we've got some additional information we need. We need a cost data S3 bucket, a report name, a report prefix, access keys and a secret key. So let's pause there and we'll switch over to AWS and show how we gather this information. Okay, so I've switched over and logged into my AWS management console. Here you'll need to be logged in as an administrator that has access to the billing dashboard as well as a user that's able to create users and policies. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that costs and usage reports are being generated. And if they aren't, let's go ahead and generate one. So to do that, we click on the menu in the upper right and pick My Billing Dashboard. From the dashboard, we pick Costs and Usage Reports on the left. And in this case, we don't have any reports currently available. So we're going to create a report and we'll give it a name. I'm gonna call this My AWS Cost and Usage Daily. We want resource IDs and we'll leave the data refresh settings. Next, we want to configure an S3 bucket so we'll pick configure. If you've got an existing S3 bucket, you can use that or you can enter a new bucket name. So similarly, we'll pick my AWS cost usage reports S3 bucket that will be created. We'll leave it in the US East region and click next. And we'll confirm that the policy is correct and hit save. So now we've got an S3 bucket and the bucket has been verified as correct. Report path, we can leave blank. We want reports to be daily. Let's overwrite existing reports. We want the format to be the gzip format. We'll click next, review the settings, and complete the usage report. And there you have it. We have a report that will get generated by AWS, usually within 24 hours in the early morning time frame. Now that we are generating a cost and usage report, either one that existed or we created a new report, the next thing to do is to create a user with the permissions to put in the connector settings. So to do that, we want to switch over to IAM, which is in my history here. And once we're in the IAM service, what we want to do is first create a policy to add to our user with the proper permissions. So let's go to policies. We want to create a policy and we'll create this policy from JSON. Now the JSON for this policy for cloud cost is available in our product documentation, which I have available in another tab here. So I'll switch to that. And here I'm in our BMC docs pages for cloud cost. I'm under collecting data and under the Amazon Web Services connector. On this page, if we scroll down, you'll see a sample JSON snippet for, for collecting cost data here on step two. So I'm just going to copy this, switch back to my IAM console and replace what's currently there with my JSON. Okay, now we've got another step. So the other thing we want to do is to replace these four instances of the S3 bucket that comes with the JSON with our actual S3 bucket. So to do that and to make sure we get it right, what we can do is go over to our Billing dashboard, open that in a new tab, go to cost and usage reports again, and let's just copy this S3 bucket name here. So I'm gonna copy that, go back to my JSON policy, and I'm going to replace these four instances here with my S3 bucket. Need to do that very carefully. And then let's review the policy, make sure it's okay. And we'll give it a name. We'll call it BMC Helix Cloud Cost. Description's optional. And we'll create this policy. Okay, so we've got a cost and usage report. 
We've got a policy, now let's create a user. So within the same identity and access management service within the AWS management console, we'll select users and we'll pick add user. We'll give it a name, DMC Helix user. Programmatic access is fine for our purposes. Hit next. Now we want to add the permissions from the policy that we just created. So we'll pick attach existing policy and we'll type in our name, DMC Helix. And there's our policy right there. We'll select that one, click next. We don't need any tags for this user. We'll review and create the user. Now this is very important. We need to save these, the access key and the secret key for this user. And also you have the opportunity to download it now, which I will do. Very important that you save this as we'll need it in the connector in the next step. Okay, now that we have an AWS cost and usage report, and we've got a user configured that can access the report and that data, our next step and final step is to configure BMC Helix Cloud Cost with a connector that can access that data and ingest it so that we can analyze it. So I'm on the Add a Connector screen, which is where we left off, and the first step is to give our connector a unique name. I'll call this Test. As I stated before, we're working with the AWS default partition. We want cost data only in this case, and then we need to specify our S3 bucket. So in order to get that right, I'm gonna switch back to my AWS billing management console, and I'm gonna pick my S3 bucket, which is listed here, and I'll paste it in. Report name is also listed in our console under the report name column. I'll take that and copy that as well, again, so we don't make a mistake. The report prefix, we left blank. Now, we downloaded our user keys and the secret key when the user was created. So hopefully you saved off that data, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in mine now from my new user. So putting in my access key for my user, and my secret key. Finally, the connector can be run on demand or manually triggered, or we can run it on scheduled intervals. Now, since billing data in this case comes in daily, I like to run at scheduled intervals for billing data. So I'm gonna turn this on and we can either go with every 12 hours or pick, for example, once a day. And then hit continue. And there you have it. We've got a new connector, AWS Cloud Connector Test, that will ingest our billing data once it's generated and pull it into the Cloud Cost Dashboard for analysis. Now, the data in our billing reports, if there aren't any reports available or there wasn't a cost and usage report available by default and we had to create it, the reports can take up to 24 hours to generate. So just be aware of that. Thank you very much.